a brooding hero, among the last members of a race of famous warriors, wanders through a wild, harmful world, discovering absolutely nothing however difficulty. Violence is his income, and yet his code makes him selective about his tasks. That suggests he's typically so desperate for cash that he's required to take awful dangers. He does not wish to get in touch with anybody, however his world is turned upside down when fate makes him accountable for a really unique kid. That description fits both the Disney Plus Star Wars series The Mandalorian and The Witcher, Netflix's adjustment of Andrzej Sapkowski's dream books, which likewise influenced CD Projekt Red's computer game series of the very same name. While The Mandalorian is an exceptionally amusing expedition of the Star Wars universe and its roots in westerns and samurai movies, The Witcher is a dull ugly mess with no stakes that embodies the worst impulses of post-Game of Thrones TV. Henry Cavill, the DCEU's Superman, plays the title character, Geralt of Rivia, with a square-jawed terseness so inscrutable. He may also be using the Mandalorian's signature helmet. While he sometimes reveals a little bit of appeal while making a barbed joke or responding to an especially remarkable discovery with a curt curse, he primarily invests his time moping over his awful lot in life as a beast hunter who's continuously getting defrauded or chased after out of generic Middle Ages towns. Witchers owe their battle expertise to wonderful anomalies, which manifest in Geralt's piercing yellow eyes. A lot of the small-minded individuals Geralt is attempting to secure believe that makes him a beast himself. Everyone actually requires that bath, hut, photo, Catalan Worms Netflix. That cliché is strongly hammered house by showrunner Lauren Schmidt Hisrich, who formerly compassed numerous scripts for Daredevil and the Umbrella Academy in The Witcher's very first episode, The End's Beginning, computing sorcerer Stragaber, Lars Mikkelsen of Sherlock in House of Cards, asks Geralt to eliminate a beast for him. When The Witcher asks what kind, Stragaber reacts, the worst kind. The human kind. The line seems like it's pulled right out of Futurama's Twilight Zone parody. Other stories reveal that appearing beasts can be far nobler than obvious human beings, especially Episode 4 of Banquets, Bastards, and Burials, which is essentially a Beauty and the Beast retelling. The worst of humanity is represented by the North Guardian Empire, whose forces completely abuse and massacre everybody in their wake in fights that look like Game of Thrones' gory grimdark excesses. Like the Mandalorian, the Witcher primarily includes episodic experiences, as Geralt gets involved in the plans of effective males and females who wish to utilize his considerable abilities for their own functions. That vibrant works well with the Mandalorian's short, laser-focused episodes, which keep the spotlight on the title character, with periodic scenes committed to Baby Yoda's lovable shenanigans. The Witcher's episodes are an hour long at minimum, and they likewise follow the stories of two other lead characters, the enthusiastic sorceress Yennefer, Anya Chalotra, and Ciri, Freya Allen, an intense young princess on the run from the Nolf Guardians looking for Geralt's security. These three stories are practically totally detached through the very first half of the program's eight-episode very first season, though Geralt is consistently informed that Ciri is linked to him through the effective force of fate. As an outcome, it appears both weird and yet irrelevant when among the triad vanishes for a complete episode. While Game of Thrones' big cast and stretching setting suggested numerous primary characters didn't connect for extended periods of time, sharp writing and acting, and a strong supporting cast guaranteed that their private scenes felt weighty. The Witcher's lead characters still feel very finely sketched, with too much time dedicated to cumbersome exposition or constructing up even thinner small characters who are suggested to be essential later on. A love for the ages. Photo, Catalan Worms Netflix. Schmidt set the program prior to the occasions of Sapkowski's very first book, Blood of Elves, getting rid of the majority of the remarkable stress for anybody knowledgeable about the source product or video games. While The Mandalorian happens prior to the occasions of the present movie trilogy, 
none of its characters or disputes to date play a substantial function in the movies, so there are no warranties about who endures and no clearness about which actions in fact matter. Even for those who are brand new to The Witcher, the program structure, which Netflix has actually required critics not expose or talk about, makes it clear that much of the results of the plots are blessed. While the characters of the characters and concerns checked out in the program are real to the books and video games, the world building exists clunkily, with the authors rotating in between under and over explaining things. Both the books and video game tend to present characters and make their connections and significance clear through a couple of lines of fond recollecting with Geralt. Netflix's The Witcher moves most efficiently when it simulates this design, however the prequel setup reveals the author's objection to trust audiences enough to maintain. Similarly, very little is defined in The Mandalorian, with the presumption that the audience currently understands about the fall of the Galactic Empire or the risks of the Huts. The Witcher's authors appear to anticipate their audience to be genre-savvy when they present halfling and dwarf characters without any description, however then they have a character actually lecture about the nature of magic and the risks of utilizing it. The channeling of chaos through discipline and research study is likewise directly from the source product, however in the books, readers primarily piece its nature together through puzzling referrals or discussions about previous characters' fates. The tradition about it in the video game can be engaged with or overlooked at the gamer's leisure. The ideas here aren't especially unique they're comparable to how magic operate in the Wheel of Time books and Dragon Age video games, and hearing them laboriously discussed by a character who looks like an even crueler variation of Severus Snape includes absolutely nothing of worth. That's a great deal of Hercules shapes. Photo, Catalan Verms Netflix. The dry lessons about the world's political powers and racial politics are too hardly ever separated by humor. The appeal of the Mandalorian's baby Yoda is that he can consume a frog to cut the stress of an upcoming life or death fight, and he works as a method for a terse and typically violent character to wordlessly reveal generosity. The Witcher frantically requires something comparable. Gerald's fate connection to Ciri does not fit at the expense, however Jaskier, Joey Beatty, a bard who follows Gerald around, discussing his exploits, and utilizing a shockingly appealing tune to motivate individuals to pay him, does at minimum of some time serve a comparable function. He's comic relief and a source of exasperation for the normally imperturbable Geralt, however he's underutilized. There's likewise absolutely nothing like him lightening the routine cruelty discovered in other characters' scenes. While The Witcher includes some aesthetically sensational minutes in mages' towers and mystically instilled forests, much of the lighting is too dark. It's suggested to make numerous settings feel overbearing or frightening, however just 